M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So as you know, it's all about learning. This is my diary, I'm just learning things and, and all the time. So today I'm just sort of reading about IRLP, which is the Internet Radio Linking Project. It's been around for quite a few years. Um, so I'll just read the cover bit here. The aim of this project is to reliably and inexpensively link amateur radio systems without the use of RF links leased lines or satellites so remember that's quite crucial it's without the use yeah the RIP uses voice over IP we've all heard that we've all heard that term before custom software and hardware coupled with the power of the internet IRLP will link your repeater site or simplex station to the world in a simple and cost effective way RLP operates a worldwide wide network of dedicated servers and nodes offering very stable worldwide voice communication between hundreds of towns and cities all this with unsurpassed uptimes and full dynamic range of telephone quality audio so there you go that's the overview now we've heard of this kind of thing before because of course we've heard of echolink here's echolink and we probably all use that we can use it on our phones on our computers, it's very, very, you know, Echolink is just excellent. Uh, we've got the All Star. Now, if you knew, if you don't know much about All Star, well, it's a, again another sort of infrastructure of linking everything together using node numbers, and you use a, a thing called um, uh, Supermon to, uh, to to run it, or Ormon. Let's just put in Supermon here. Um, we'll get some images, see what, so you know what Supermon looks like. There you are. It looks like that, like so. I'm trying to get the image up. Oh, that's a, that's more of a data sheet. Anyway, you get the idea. Supermon, there is a page for that, uh, which is like these ones here on the right. See all these images here? That's Supermon. This is Ormon here, and it's the way of controlling and using the node numbers. So now. With IRLP, you you do need some hardware. I've just gone onto this page here, IRLP node order page. I'm not saying order one. You can make one, I'm sure, with the right components. But here's an idea of what the some of the the nodes look like, and they connect. You know, some of them connect to a, a Raspberry Pi three. So, and here's some uh, node numbers. So. And status so look you can see here loads of numbers and if you have a look uh, a lot of them it looks like because I'm just seeing a lot of words here echo IRLP um, so loads of numbers if you've got your node you link into them and you start talking to people and a lot of things are cross-linked I mean that's just the way the hobby is going now that anything that's on the internet is being cross-linked and I'm not experienced with this uh, with this, you know, reflector usage. Here's reflector usage. Connected nodes. Nodes by country, that's interesting. So if we go down to the UK. Where's the UK? If I can find it. Did, did, did. England, right, there you go, England, so here's a load of nodes, and I did connect to one today, which was this one, DB3ZB, but I didn't connect using IRLP, I haven't got the IRLP equipment, but I, I was able to connect into that using my, um, my all-star node and my local repeater, so if you were coming in on IRLP, like a friend of mine has an IRLP board, he connects into the same place and then we can talk to each other even though we're on different systems all star or rf repeater we could still talk and he was using his uh his his irlp board and if he wanted to he had echo link as well so just looking at this so here's a, some more information um I'm not going to read this whole thing, um, but the RIP uses a voice over IP streaming software called Speak Freely. Speak Freely is very similar to other VOIP packages, um, such as NetMeeting, Microsoft. Uh, and then here, just read down here. And 
I noticed here typical node using a repeater and a simplex. So if you click simplex, you get this uh, quite sensible diagram here. So let's have a look at it. You've got, right, so I'm guessing this is the board here. IRLP logic and DTM decode for board, decoder board. Then it does need to go into a sound card. Um, just looking close. Speed, and then it's showing you where the, the lines go coming from the board. So the, the green line is, is the line in from the speaker to the line in on the sound card. The COS from the radio, well, we have that in my all-star node, a COS from the radio. So I'm guessing that's when you're using the radio, how it tells the board what to do. So this to me is very, very similar to an all-star node in, 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 when I look at it. And I've built an all-star node from with using a Pi board, a Bofeng AAAS and some software. No need for, there wasn't, a, and there was, a, yeah, I had to get myself a sound card, which is a CM. 108. So a similar kind of thing here going on. We'll close that and we will look at the repeater one. Uh, I haven't got a clue. Uh, this would be interesting to know how they make a, a repeater for an all-star. Uh, sort of thing that um, you know, some people are using. So I see the board, I see the sound card. And then low power link radio on mobile frequencies. Your local repeater. Oh yeah, I see how it sorts so. out. So there's some more information there. So, you know, it's up to you what you're interested in. If you want to get yourself a board or make a board and use the RIPL system, it's there. I'm pretty sure that all the software is going to be downloadable, you know, free of charge, and you can make donations. Node radios. Have a look here. There's a node radio. Some... Some designs there, interface. So, Pi based nodes, gonna be the more popular one. So this looks like quite a good link. Software, that di directions on upgrading the software here. Download the PIRLP manual. Let's click this. Oh, loads of pictures of wiring. Look, so it's all, it's all the information, GPIO pins. Now, that's on a Raspberry Pi, isn't it? It's telling you what they are, ribbon wiring. What's this one here? That's quite big. Can I shrink it down? Probably can if I know how. That's sh basically showing a part of... Oh, it's just a very enlarged picture, isn't it? That's a Raspberry Pi, isn't it? So it's a very close up. Look, you've got some markings that, here. Um, sh yeah, so all this stuff's good information, isn't it? Let's click another one. Yeah, the serial port type lead. So you get the idea. So IRLP is basically, you know, another way of linking in. I've never used it, so I don't even know if, if it's for me. I've got... An Three all-star nodes here, loads of jumbo hotspots for digital. The thing about IRLP, it'll be on it'll be on FM analog. So it's from that point of view, it, it, if you if you like firing up your cheap bowfangs as well, and you know make use of them, you're going to have very good results with I would say with IRLP and all-star. So seven three, thanks for watching. All the best.